Uh, dear students, today we are going to start with uh, tables. How to do tables in HTML. Uh, as you remember that uh, in the first class we said that an HTML file should have at least five basic tags. And these tags, let's go and put these tags. The first tag is the doc type tag which tells the browser which version of HTML you're using. Using this specific tag will tell that you're using the latest version which is HTML5. The next tag, which is the root tag of your HTML document, is HTML5. Inside that tag, you have the head tag, and within the head tag, you have the title tag, which is the description uh, of your page that appears on your, the tab. This could be uh, HTML using tables. The last part, the last of the five tags that we discussed in the previous class was the body tag. Over here, we, in the body tag, we have, uh, because today we are going to do an exercise where we want to create a table uh, which looks something like this in the class, which is. Uh, is this. Now, in order to create a table like this, we need to understand a few basic concepts that we're going to do as we move on. The first thing in a table, in a HTML table, is that each table should be enclosed within the table tag. Okay. Now, within this tag, we can represent the table rows each row should have a separate tag and within each row we have the table data column or just a single cell the number of TDs you have within a row will determine the number of columns you have now starting from HTML4 this was modified now each table will have a header and a body the header is the description of the cells or description of the rows and columns included within your table. Hence, each table was modified to include a T head and a T body. Now, within the T head, you again have rows. Now, instead of the data columns, instead of TD, you are going to have th which is similar to td but just it describes the header part so instead of td we're going to use th similarly for body we can move this part of the description that we put earlier over here inside the body let's indent that for readability now this is how it looks like uh, so this is the basic structure of a table. Now, before we go on, we need to understand that in this concept that we have seen, we are seeing over here, is that each of these tables, in the in the table, you have something these merged columns. This is merged. This is merged columns into a single column, into a single cell, and these are merged rows into a single cell. Now, how do we do that? HTML provides two attributes that helps us to do these two things. The first attribute is row span. Now before we do any of the spanning, let's create a basic structure. Now if you see, this table has one header row and three uh, body rows. Okay, So let's do that first. One header row is already done. Let's create more body rows. Let's say instead of TR, just copy pasting the whole thing. We can do this. Now, as we can see that, how many columns do we have? We have six columns in total. So, let's go over there and 
you know that we have to put 6th let's copy paste this again okay 6 similarly we do the same thing with all of them we then delete them later on okay these are six columns we had three rows one to a header and six columns to in total now let's start with the first thing as you see in the header two of them are left blank so we have to start from the third one and then we put first second third and total so we go to the third one and we put first second third and total the next case we go on we can see over here that we have the first one left empty blank again the thing is the first joins all these together now we have an attribute called row span the row span will combine all these rows into a single cell this row span always applies to the TD tag so over here if I put row span equal to 3 this will combine all of them together now let's go on and move with quiz 1 8 10 8 and 26 let's go there let's put quiz 1 8 10 8 and 26 similarly we go over here now you see there's a catch over here when we go down this thing is no longer a row it's no longer a cell now it's combined with the previous one so what you need to do is you need to remove that completely in case if you don't remove it it will push the rows outside okay let's try without moving it first and then see what happens let's see let's fill in the other ones let's say we have major and then what are the grades that we have 30 35 40 30 35 40 which in total makes 105 now let's save this and then see it out in our live preview how it looks like so that we can see as you can see well, we don't see anything now because it's we don't have the borders so there is an attribute called border placed on the table which will help us see the table with the outlines now you can see the table with the outlines okay as you can see over here that this thing this is the thing that I was talking about it's pushed outside pushed outside because we already considered this merged over here the first thing is we cannot see the merged part because it's collapsed together as we it, it, it doesn't have any content so we can use an attribute which is not advised because HTML5 removed that attribute now it can be done only through CSS but since we are learning HTML5 HTML basically let's let's do this over here let's put it as width equal to let's say 30 save it and then see how it goes see now it pushed that outside because it's no longer available it's it's merged inside so this way we can just simply go over here go over here and then remove this as soon as we remove this this will probably work now right okay now let's move on to the next one let's say we have we finished this now again we go down we do the same thing we remove the first one because we don't no longer need it now after that we see that we need to merge all these together to put the total now, when you merge all these how many columns do we have one two three four now the attribute that we're going to use over here is called column span it f we use four on that so row span merges the rows together into a single cell column span merges all the columns together into a single cell and this cell you need to have a value of total now since we merged the four columns we don't need these columns now we can just simply remove it 
if you put them it will again do the same thing it will push outside if you can see over here it pushed everything over here this is clustered together because they don't have any content so it became something like this now, since we don't need this now we can just simply remove it we, can, we just need the, the one which is for the total okay so that will be 126 so let's go back and put our value of 126 and this is the final layout of the table that we saw. Now it's not exactly what how we saw it because there are some things missing. We didn't color them. We used bold over here for a few uh, data items which we didn't do over here. Now bold in HTML is usually done using the strong key, strong ta tag. So need to do make this as strong and this as strong. Okay. Now we got the bold part together. Now the the next thing we need to do is put the to put the color to it. Now there is an attribute which is again not advised. It's not removed from HTML5, but it's not advised, which is called BG color, which is background color. Now as you can see that we needed a darker color for the header and some different colors for uh, the body. So let's go and see how we can do that. Just go to the table head over here. Inside this we put BG color and then let's say we put blue. And in the body, we put something BG color as light blue. Okay, you can see these colors are a darker, and this one is a little lighter. Okay, and that should that should do it for us right now. The next part is see the text is darker, so we need to change the color of this text. The uh, to change the color of the text to apply any style to any of the elements within within HTML we use an attribute called style now style is, can be an, is an attribute that can be used by any of the tags it can be applied to any tag it can be applied to the body tag it can be applied to table it can be applied to the previous tags that we did which is h1 to h6 paragraph or the image tags so over here we're going to apply it to the header tag because we want to change it because we want to change the font so instead of we can apply it over here as style now this tag usually is written like this and inside this we again have two pairs Instance, again inside this we have two pairs the first one will define it's it's a rule a rule which will have a property and a value now the property that we want to change is the color of the font which is defined by just color to define the value we don't use equal to we use colon and inside the colon we can choose the value of that Okay, and f after you finish it, you can put a semicolon, or if it's just, if it's just one, you can skip the semicolon. If it's more than one, you need to put a semicolon. Now let's see how it goes. Now it looks good. Now we have did. Oh, now we have done it. Now, in the next part, you will see that we need, and this is to align these three items in the center. Align these three items in the center, which is not done previously. So. Now, we are going to use an attribute called align, which is again deprecated or obsolete in HTML5. Align equal to center. And this is not allowed over there, so we are not we should not use it anymore. We have to do that alignments using CSS again. So since we are just beginning to learn HTML, let's use that. And then when we are when we use when we learn CSS, we just can skip over the path and then include it in. So this is how we do that. Privacy centered. And similar to that, we need to put the total to the right. So let's we can move the total. Just put a line right over here, and it should do that. Now also total over here is slanted or italicized or emphasized. We use the em tag provided to us. Let's go back and then use the em tag that we have assigned to. 
which are given by HTML. See this? This is the table that we are looking for. This is the table that we decide. Now you can see the total, the L of the total is usually touching, which doesn't look good when we have a table. So what we can do is put a space. Now, usually using a blank space doesn't work in HTML because it's not recognized. It's a markup language, so it doesn't recognize the space. So instead of that, you have you have actually a command given, which is and n b s b. Now, you using this, it will provide the space, which will put it together inside, so it looks nicer now. So this is the table that we were working on. Now you see, you don't need the border again because now everything is there and we have the spacings between them. Apart from this, CSS uh, HTML also provides you with two more attributes that can be used on tables and these attributes are called are, um, cell padding and cell spacing. Now cell spacing is the space between the two cells. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's go to the table header and then put cell spacing equal to let's put 10 to see how it looks like. If you go out, you see there is a, the space between each of the cells increased by 10. Okay. Similarly, it also provides one more attribute, which is cell padding. Now, cell padding, what cell padding does is it pro pushes space inside the cell. Okay, inside the cell. Uh, since it's an interactive one, let's see if we remove that, how how it will react to when we just change this to it. Let's say if you want to make it 5, you see the space within this, within within each cell decreases. So that's what cell padding is used for. Now, since we use many of them, try to remember that. Background color, although it's acceptable, but not used, not uh, advised to use in HTML. 5, we are going to do with CSS. Now, border, again, it's removed from HTML. We can, we can open a browser. Let's see, we have something open over here. Let's see, uh, you can use this resource whenever you want to search for supported tags, which is a very good resource. We can search for various tags over here. Let's go to HTML5 and see the standard ones. We have obsolete ones as well. But let's go to the standard ones and you can see that in standard whenever you are working with tables let's go to the table tag table one and you can see over here that see a line although a line is okay over here but in tr or dd it's deprecated it's, it's removed or obsolete Align. Align is okay, I think. Yeah, align is okay. The ones that are removed are background color is also okay, see? But it's not advised to use it. You can use it using CSS. It should be styled using CSS. And uh, the ones that are not allowed or not supported, we can see over here, not supported. Some of them we align, not supported in Firefox, but maybe supported in some versions of Chrome. So this is a good area where you can find out about the acceptance of, of certain tags which are supported and which are not supported by cell padding and cell spacing are still supported. Okay, so this is all about tables. This is how you do tables in HTML. See you in the next class. Now you can go and answer the questions that are assigned to you.